In Panama's tropical forests, male Tungara frogs gather to call female mates. But female frogs are not the only ones paying attention to male love songs. Predatory bats and parasitic flies use male mating calls to locate their next meal. We already know that when male Tungara frogs make more complex calls, they attract more mates. But when there are predators and parasites around, they make fewer, simpler calls. In Panama, Tungara frogs live in diverse urban environments. From ditches and puddles in neighborhoods close to the forest, to skyscrapers in the center of Panama City. We wanted to know, how do city frogs compare with forest frogs as they compete to attract females? In our first experiment, we played recordings of male Tungara frog calls in 22 urban and forest locations and noted the number of approaching females, predators and parasites using remote infrared sensitive cameras. In the city, fewer females responded per calling male, suggesting that city males need to work harder to get a mate. Also, our recorded frog calls did not attract any bats and only few flies suggesting that predators are less of a threat in the city. Half urban male frogs adjusted their calls as a result. In our second experiment we recorded up to a hundred calling males at the same sites and discovered that urban males call at higher rates using more complex and conspicuous calls than frogs in the forest. Then we asked if urban males are more attractive. In our third experiment 40 females chose between speakers playing the call of an urban or forest male. Three of four females preferred the urban male calls. Finally, we asked how fast frogs adjust their calls. When we took frogs from the forest to the city and city frogs to the forest, we discovered that urban males in the forest immediately changed to simpler calls matching the forest males, whereas forest males in the city do not immediately make more complex calls like the urban males do. These four experiments show that urban males adapted their calls to city life, either within their lifetime or across many generations. The driving factor of these changes seems to be more competition for females and fewer predators and parasites. Perhaps when frogs move to the city, it takes time to realize that there are no predators to be afraid of. But when confronted with the dangers of the forest, all frogs are immediately more cautious. So just as we change our social relations in cities, animals change their relations and behaviors in the radically altered biological communities we are creating across the globe.